Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're going to discuss crude oil and this idea overall starts from right here, which is uh, the web scanner of Platform X. The short term for crude oil already switched to buys, right? And this is what caught my attention. I was following this thing from here, I would say, for a possible reversal and if we go ahead and adjust the trend line to the previous swing high, sorry, swing low, we can see that this was tested, but this is where the price failed to basically gain the momentum. So it did extend a bit lower. And as a matter of fact, sorry, not this one, I need the expansion. We're pretty much looking at the 100%, right? So, Technically speaking, this starts to look good from multiple angles, from multiple perspectives. And it makes a lot of sense for these false breaks to be happening because look where it actually starts to find support once again. This is the previous swing high right there. And now we have tested this zone as well. Now, when we put all this together, the, the false breaks here and the divergences at the bottom, the bullish divergence, the previous attempt for the price to push up, which couldn't make any structure or reversals, now it starts to look much more powerful, okay? Not just for the shorter term. Of course, the shorter term that we have seen here is fine, but when we go back to the midterm, which for me is one hour, four hour, and daily kind of combination, I see that there is a level here which needs to be broken that's approximately 95 okay but it's not just the level it's about this whole entire zone which acts as a very strong resistance zone so basically my idea is very simple this is where we get the most recent divergence maybe we should do it with the brush and that's your bullish divergence, right? So in case we go ahead and break to the upside, we're going to get a convergence here. We're going to follow up on the price action and things start to become really easy from that point. As long as, uh, sorry, this low right here, the swing low is holding, we can look for pullbacks and then continuations to the upside. And up to where is a very good question because from a technical perspective i would suggest of course mind your overall risk reward ratio but once the price reaches anywhere closer to this zone to have some sort of management if you didn't have management yet right that's the level which given given the angle of this downtrend line makes sense to give some kind of reaction maybe even push to the downside all right it might continue playing in the range which i doubt but let's see maybe so that's uh definitely one of the levels to pay attention to now if the price breaks and this is usually one of the things which are recommended once the price has a trend and then you have a market structure being developed, always keep a small portion because if this is the breakout point, then a very decent risk reward ratio trade um, is there for us and we can make plenty of money with tiny portion left of exposure, right? So that's pretty much in summary. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.